This is a Whirlpool Cabrio. The problem that this washer have is that it's given an F5 air code. The model number is on the display. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Today we're going to be working on a Whirlpool Cabrio, as already said before. And here's the air code that is popping out, F5. And it's making a clicking sound on the lick lock. So if you hear that clicking sound, if you press this lock, it will stop, but it's not locking the door. And as you see, it's still giving a F5 air code. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the appliance to avoid electric shock. And we're gonna go ahead and start taking the washing machine apart to be able to do this repair. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove a one quarter screws there. And let me move to the other side. It's another one quarter screw that holds the top. I already have removed two of them, one on the left and one on the right, as you see right there. Now I'm gonna remove the third one, which is this one that removed this cover. That is covering the wiring and the field tube. Now let's put the cover on the side. And this is where this repair um, gets a little tricky. You have to put this top panel forward and then lift up a little to be able to release it from those two tabs. After you lift up, you push back again. And now it's on the top, on the above, I mean above, those two tabs that I mentioned before, and that's when you can release the whole top panel. Before we lift the panel, we're gonna go ahead and secure this door because otherwise it can bounce on you. So make sure you tape this door. You can use duct tape, you can use silver tape. In this case, because I have it on my tool bag, I'm just using some electrical tape. Be careful with sharp edges when you are working with this top panel um, open. Now, once we get it up, we're going to go ahead and take a pick to our LED switch. And also the wiring where it goes to the main board. See, this is the clip that holds the electrical panel. I mean, the uh, display panel. And it's two clips, one on the right and one on the left. Once I release the one on the right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use a screwdriver because in this side it's a little more tricky because it has some kind of mechanism. I put the screwdriver there, I'm sorry, and I got that part uh, really good on the video, but I got that in slow motion, and as you can see, just do the same thing that you did the one on the right. Now we're gonna follow the wiring, we got two filler screws there. You're not gonna remove those because it's not necessary if you are replacing the switch. Now it's a couple of videos on YouTube. They show you how to clean the lid switch, but it will give you a problem down the road as well in a short period of time. Now, if you put a new one, it probably lasts you the same amount of time that the other one lasts you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two top screws as well. They are one quarter as the same of the other ones. And now we can go ahead and release the um, display panel as well. It's supposed to come out in an angle. Now I frost this picture right there. That's where the harness for the lid switch is attached to the board. And we're gonna go ahead and use a, a T15 Torx screwdriver. I see a picture. You can buy this on Amazon. It's about seven dollars, and that was a picture of the screwdriver that you need to be able to remove the lid switch. Again, F5. It it's popping out because it needs a new lid switch, and that means that the lid switch mechanism is not working properly we remove the two t15 screws from the uh, lid switch housing to be able to release it from the housing 
as you see right there it's coming off this is the new lid switch we're going to go ahead and set it here until we remove the old one you're supposed to um lift those clips to be able to release the wiring from the old lid switch see i fought for this uh footage and that's how you release it this is how you stick a screwdriver open and then release that was the last clip i'm sorry i didn't got that really good on the video but you're gonna see a better footage why i install this new lid switch now i'm gonna go ahead and put a link on the description of this video if you want to buy this lid switch uh, from this link go to the description of the video and it's going to be right there now the same way you remove it same way you're going to install the new wiring just lift those clips with a flat head screwdriver and just sit it in place if one of those clips comes off just look at the other ones or like i mentioned go ahead and take a picture um, before you remove any wiring just to remind yourself um, how the wiring goes now once we get the lid switch in place we're gonna go ahead and install the two t15 torque screws in place with our with our um, t15 torque screwdriver now as you see I'm doing it with the drill and a lot of guys on the comments said don't use a drill so go ahead and use a screwdriver because you don't do this every day i know what i'm doing that's why i'm doing it with the drill but just for those guys that said uh plastic with plastic screws uh well strip or anything like that i set my drill to impact at certain limits so i know what i'm doing but there you go you can do it with your screwdriver and torque it and do it by hand go ahead and install the lid switch on the board Go ahead and install the harness sit the top panel display panel in place and to eclipse right back where it goes remove your duct tape or black tape or electrical tape there was supporting the door the lid for the washer and go ahead and start screwing all your five screws that you removed earlier the same way I'm installing it, the same way you're going to remove it. Sorry, I didn't got that at the beginning of the video, but there you go. I hope if you play this video a couple of times, you will be able to do this repair. Don't forget to install your drain hose back in place. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the cover for the... Um, fill tube and the wiring this protects the fill tube and the wiring um, from getting hurt or getting damaged by any chance so let me go ahead and get to the other side go ahead and put it in place and look for the right screw this one is a different color so you will not miss that that that's kind of gold color so it's a different color than the other ones. The other ones are um, silver, but you get the idea. Once you get it in place, just try to manage. I'm trying to do this repair without disconnecting the wire from uh, the water lines. But if it's best for you, go ahead and turn off your water lines and go ahead and move the washer all the way out. In my opinion, sometimes I try not to bother with those water valves because sometimes they start going bad after you start messing with them after you install all your five screws in the back go ahead and push the machine back in place the way you found it you know where it goes go ahead and plug it in to the outlet and at this point we're pretty much done we're just going to go ahead and sit it where it should be and go ahead and start a cycle make sure it's not going to keep clicking. When we got here, it was only clicking and making a beeping sound, throwing a F5 air code. So as long as we turn it on, if it doesn't uh, start clicking and throwing an F5 air code, that means everything is okay. 
but either way we're gonna go ahead and put it to a quick cycle just to make sure it's gonna throw in some water and it's gonna start sensing just to um, make sure that it's not gonna pop the air coat anytime soon we're gonna go ahead and wait for about five ten minutes if the cycle doesn't quit in about five ten minutes that means everything is fine by the way this video was made about a week after we did this repair we haven't heard any um, callbacks or anything any complaints so that means this repair was a success and as you see I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick cycle to be able to begin a cycle you have to hold it into the light the play light stay steady on and that's when it is going to start sensing and filling in water as you see everything is doing good so far let me remove my uh, gopro from my uh, head mount and put it right here as you see it's already sensing it's already filling in water and that's it guys Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.